So it looks like every single day leading towards the reveal of Call of Duty Modern Warfare's multiplayer, it just gets better. Call of Duty just released another teaser for multiplayer for the next upcoming Call of Duty, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. They pretty much are teasing, one, a brand new map, which is a little bit of a tease, but two, the most important and craziest thing of this all, which by the way, this was supposed to be rumored to be like in Call of Duty Ghost, is the fact that there is actually now animations when you go into multiplayer maps or games or matches. I mean, I'm literally just gonna stop talking really quick and I'm just gonna roll the footage here. You guys check it out and, and just, just let me know what you think. Check this out. I'm a true believer that it's all about the little details that matter most. And this is honestly a very small, minute detail. It's literally just a smooth animation that gets put into the game before you start your match. And this is supposed to be uh, starting in your game right after you've confirmed your loadout for your multiplayer match. So after you confirm your loadout, this happens. And this is how you go about starting multiplayer matches in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now, one thing I want you guys to know is that this is not going to be the only animation that you're going to get in this game when it comes to multiplayer entrances or multiplayer pre-match startups. There's going to be other ways, other um, animations that the game is going to be implementing into the multiplayer aspect for you to start your matches. It's not just going to be via helicopter, just like you see here. Now, that's actually a good thing and kind of like a bad thing because if we know one thing so far is that they're probably going to give us some animations via supply jumps. God no! fucking damn it. I've got to shut up before I give them any ideas. Hopefully that's not the case. We don't know what's going to happen with that. But this right here, this teaser, this animation is sick. And the fact that there's going to be more animations has me really, really excited. Now, there's actually a blog post that they posted, and this is pretty much what's happening in this scene. It is day 215. You're nine kilometers outside of Verdansk, Russia. And I apologize if I slaughter some of these words, but hey, let's just keep on moving forward. Operation Gun Run is in full swing as you descend and disembark from a deployment helicopter as part of WARCOM's 23rd Battalion. Perched on the side of the chopper, you're listening to the radio chatter sitting next to another member of the WARCOM's forces, Operation D-Day, who's holding up an assault rifle with a short stock. It looks like you've chosen an M14 with a long barrel and a hybrid scope. That's pretty much your class setup that they're saying that you chose. As you drop on the cracked concrete loading dock near this train yard, you fan out, ready to engage Allegiance forces. What you've seen is just one of the Call of Duty Modern Warfare's tactical infills or infiltrations. This one shows a disembarking into a multiplayer map currently named Gun Runner. These infills usually occur between the time you've chosen your multiplayer loadout and the start of the multiplayer match. So again, this blog actually confirms there's going to be more animations, and it also confirms that the name of this map is called Gun Runner, which I thought it was going to be Coalition because that's the bigger name at the bottom left of this teaser video, which makes no sense. But I guess it's called Gun Runner, which is really, really interesting. Now, there's another thing I wanted to add about this little teaser trailer here is that the map that they're showcasing, which, by the way, they're only showcasing it for a brief second, looks very similar to two of the previous Call of Duty maps that we've seen in previous Call of Duty titles, one being derailed from uh, Modern Warfare 2, which is like a train yard. And it was actually a significantly big map for the time. Like, I think that map was actually pretty freaking big. This map does not look that big. And the other one is Fright or Freight from Call of Duty Ghost, which people are saying it could also be that. But if I'm being honest myself, I don't think it's any of those. It's just probably something that looks alike just because we have trains and shit doesn't mean it's a particular map. But it is nice to see some similar vibes to some of the previous Call of Duty titles uh, within this next Call of Duty Modern Warfare title. So far, this game is looking really, really promising. I mean, I'm so excited at the moment that I'm actually going to play Modern Warfare and I'm going to bring another video on Call of Duty. And I've been trying to post Call of Duty recently. Every single year before a new Call of Duty comes out, the hype just starts, you know, ramping up and ramping up and ramping up. And then eventually when the game comes out, everything's really, really exciting. And then like three months later after that, that everything just fucking goes to shit. <laughs> Hopefully this year round, things are different. Like I'm literally fucking praying that the microtransactions and the updates do not mess up call of duty because i believe that a lot of the games we've had so far have actually been decent games it's just microtransactions and updates or lacks of update or just not good updates is was really messed up call of duty games in the past i feel like the last solid 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 call of duty that kind of got everything right to some extent was probably bo3 modern warfare remastered was an amazing game but then again modern warfare remastered you can only do so many things to it and you only have three kill streaks you know everybody wants 30 kill streaks and 50 maps in multiplayer modern warfare remaster could not really do that plus it came out alongside with a game that was also you know, a brand new game. So it was kind of like two Call of Duties trying to battle for content. I just really hope that everything is executed properly. 
come this Call of Duty. There's a guy here or something. Oh, I totally did not. Where was that guy? Wow, he just sniped my balls. I'm just gonna leave that lobby. That was embarrassing. Back to supply drops and cosmetics. I feel like they're adding a lot of new things, and I think the game will have a lot of new features, but I just hope they don't use these features to capitalize on the supply system or supply drop system or black market system, whatever system they're gonna have. You know, I, I truly hope that they just truly use it to, to make the game better. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Am I probably gonna wanna buy new helicopter animations and shit to look cool when I'm dropping into a multiplayer map? Probably. <laughs> Choose the P90 with 30,000 bullets in the clip and barely get the kill. That's just typical hollow. Oh, great. Oh. <laughs> you thought Claymores were going to save you, didn't you? I don't think so. Jesus Christ. Somebody's got a chopper already. Oh, my Lord. I'm trying to focus back here. I wanted to ask you guys, what do you think? What do you think about this whole uh, animation thing? Is this something you're excited about or does it really not excite you? One thing I'm really uh, intrigued to see when it comes to this new Modern Warfare is it's pretty much the camos because I, I do feel even though the the original Modern Warfare's were called, they were labeled like the brown games because everything was so freaking brown. I still believe it had one of the best camos like the red tiger, blue tiger, all that crap. And I'm really interested to see how they how they go about camels this time around, you know? There we go. Jesus. Sadly, I have a chopper, but sadly, I'm also probably going to lose this match because... Alrighty then. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Massive comeback? Possibly? Oh, shit. By the way, I freaking hate the no sprinting. Or the sprint cap, like where you, you, your guy gets tired. Like this is so 2010, like this has to go. I really hope the next COD does not have this crap. I know it's not very realistic for a soldier not to get tired of running, but let's be honest here. We're playing a damn freaking video game and I lost. When we played Modern Warfare at the Infinity Ward offices like two months ago, and we played those uh, gunfight modes, the, the 2v2 modes have been revealed already there was not any animations and according to to this blog according to this teaser that's going to be an animation for multiplayer period and this mode is part of multiplayer but then again it wasn't there it wasn't part of the multiplayer startup unless that mode is like the only mode that is an exception to this feature because i mean you don't really get to choose your class setups or confirm class setups because they're given to you then i understand but if so then it must or it probably is a new feature that's been you know recently added into the game This game has got to have the dumbest spawns. Like, what the hell was that? <laughs> Jesus Christ, my kid! Shit on a fucking pile of bricks, asshole! Enough talking about the next COD. I think we've actually had a decent amount of teasers already. Uh, we also did have that whole gunsmith or whatever teaser a couple of days ago. Where they show you all the possibilities that you can, like, do with, like, weapon attachments and stuff. Which also looks really great and now they show us this i think i think the game's gonna be literally fucking amazing i feel like activision is coming back with a vengeance call of duty's been a game that you never really have any of these like crazy cool animations it's literally just start the game and that's it but i feel like this is gonna add a little bit of a different taste a different flavor to the multiplayer experience it's all about capitalizing on how you play the game and how you look while you're playing the game so yeah <laughs> expect a lot of entrances coming to supply drops Jesus Christ. See, in this game, like, you, you can't even patrol, like, aggressively. You have to play really, really passive. I didn't get to play much to know how, how the time to kill is in the next COD. But in this COD, it was, like, really fast. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
What is that guy fucking doing there? Yeah, I feel like everybody in this game, particularly this game, people just corner camp like no other Call of Duty. And look at the spawns. There's already a dude right on my left hand side. He's gonna fucking die. <laughs> Let's do this, Marines. Uh, that's how good this game is when it comes to spawns. And I'm gonna sit right here. And I'm just gonna be a little punk about it. Should I? Should I not? Nope. I don't think he knew. Uh, wow! Hot the what the hell? And look at look at that spawn. Just spawn me right in front of my guy. <gasps> I fucking love this game. Hey, thanks for this trick. I will use it right now. Thank you very much. UAB nope. Look at these spawns. What? Ah! What? What are these spawns? I'm just gonna call that anywhere because like, what the fuck, what? Impossible, that man knew I was there. Look at the spawn. He keeps spawning there. I think there's a guy next to me. <laughs> This is probably like the worst set of spawns I've ever experienced in this map. And I've experienced some pretty shitty spawns. But holy cow. I don't think it's ever been this, this like, back-to-back -back fucked up. Okay, what is going on here? <laughs> oh my god, somebody save me. The guy there, and this guy spawned right there again. Look at this. This is an exploit right here. Definitely an exploit. That spawn. <laughs> Fuck! Still gonna win though. I'm gonna knife you. Ah, stabbed in the ass. Dude, this is like crazy. Like, those spawns were ridiculous. Like, that was the most ridiculous spawn system I have ever experienced in this particular map. Before I lose my mind. I'm just going to end it here. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you guys are excited about that little new feature within Modern Warfare's multiplayer. I just hope that in the end, it doesn't get used and abused uh, by the uh, supply drop system, I guess. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, if you did, leave it a like. We'll catch you later.